morning. So our new dining room table came nice and early. It's a Cindy Crawford one from Rooms to Go. It's exactly what I wanted, a big family style table. So we're here having our first meal. Kenny made breakfast, right Boo? Yep. His specialty of eggs with veggie cheese and then some um, cold cut uh, turkey and some whole wheat toast with butter and orange juice. And it looks so yummy, boo. So I have to say, even though I am like, I'm feeling a lot better today, but like I've been in bed just relaxing. And I have to say it's kind of nice, Kenny's taking care of Kailani. And I'm just like having this time to myself, you know, I mean, I'd rather be able to like clean my house and, you know, make it nice and clean and comfortable, but I do have to say I like hibernating in the room and just doing my own thing. I'm just watching videos, watching TV, just snuggling in bed. It's really nice. And Kenny just made me this smoothie uh, with some granola on top. It's very yummy. I don't know how he makes it. I know he puts like almond milk and berries and all kinds of good stuff. So yummy. So we're taking Kailani to her grandma's house. She hates when the sun is in her face. My mom's driving us. Oh, yeah, see, at, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kenny's at Jiu Jitsu. You go go see Oela? Yeah. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anywho, this is the, well, the traffic we're in. We're literally at a dead stop right now. Whoa, the sun's beaming into the car. It's making her annoying. So that's where we're at right now. I'm home. Kenny's home. He's taking a shower. Um, you know, my mom made some rice and beans and uh, marinated some chicken that she was going to cook when we got back because my sister and her husband are going to my parents for dinner and then Kenny and I were gonna go. But Kenny's like, I don't feel like it. I'm like, I know I wanna eat at her new table, <laughs> whatever. So my mom gave me some of the rice and beans that she made and then gave me the marinated chicken to cook up myself. But I took a bite of her rice and beans and now there they are. Um, and I hope she doesn't watch this to hear it, but my mom's rice and beans are nothing to talk about um they don't taste bad but you know my mom's american my dad is cuban so uh yeah i get all the cuban from him um i speak spanish my sister doesn't i cook spanish my sister doesn't cook at all um i don't know i grew up with a better relationship with my grandmother who doesn't speak any english i guess because i was the older one um so i grew up with a better relationship with her. That's how I learned Spanish. I grew up with her, um, like in her house all the time as a kid. And um, she taught me how to cook everything. So, I mean, I remember asking her for every single recipe. She taught me how to cook everything. So, which by the way, I'm starting a cooking channel on YouTube because I like recording what I make. So I'm just gonna start it and see how that goes. But, um, Anywho, so I'm like, great, now that motivated me to make my own batch of yellow rice. So, anyway, so I needed sofrito to make the yellow rice, and this is like a standard sofrito that I make. And I make it like once every month or two, and I just buy a bunch of green bell peppers, onions, and garlic, and I put it all in the food processor. This is what I'm going to use for my yellow rice. It was left over. The rest I put in these freezer thing. The ice things I'm gonna put in the freezer and then I have individual little sofrito cubes for when I cook makes it easier then what I also do is every couple weeks or every month I'll clean out the fridge and see what produce we have left over because there's one thing I hate it's wasting produce I hate watching it go bad so here I'm gonna make this I guess it's a Peruvian or a Colombian sauce now all the Peruvian and Colombian food you see me make I learned that from my in-laws so anytime I go to anybody's house but especially my in-laws where they're cooking like um, uh, what's the word um, ethnic food you know um, I always watch I always ask questions like how they make it and stuff and they always have these great sauces like Colombians have this sauce called an ahi that is 
out of this world and it's just like scallions, tomatoes and peppers and like vinegar and salt and pepper and cilantro. So yummy. So um, I'm going to make some of that but there's this, I believe it's a Peruvian sauce that my father-in-law makes and also my mother-in-law and it's so good. It's this red onion and they soak it in water and salt and they, they drain it after like five or ten minutes of soaking and then now I'm going to mix it with some olive oil. And you can put like tomato and garlic and salt and pepper and then lime. But I'm not going to use lime. I'm going to actually do vinegar because I like vinegar better. And this will stay in the fridge for like a good week, maybe even two weeks, depending on how it gets used. Like if it's there's a ton of it in there and it gets used like every single day, it'll last us about two weeks. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to make for a fridge. And it's just a sauce. Like it's a healthy, delicious sauce. You can just pour over like chicken or rice or whatever. So... That's what we're doing. I'll show you all the food when it's done. Kenny's enjoying the table on the computer. Right, babe? Yeah. Hmm. It's not like I'm messing up the table. It's pretty much done. Here's the chicken. We just sauteed it up. It's been marinating in a mojo, which is a onion, lime juice, orange juice vinegar oil pepper seasoning garlic type thing then the yellow rice that i made so delicious and then the sauce i was telling you about i didn't end up making the colombian ahi because the scallions and everything were still pretty good so i didn't want to waste them all on that considering i was making this sauce so i made this onion sauce because i have the red onion in the fridge that was going bad so it is so yummy. I chopped up a tomato with it and then put salt, pepper, olive oil, and vinegar. And we could put it over our chicken now, which we probably will, but it's gonna be even better tomorrow once it sits and like ferments in the vinegar and everything. So that's it, that's our dinner.